Muhammad bin Tughlaq's experiments. Muhammad bin Tughlaq was born in 1324 CE. He was an accomplished scholar and very knowledgeable. He had an excellent memory. He studied subjects like logic, philosophy, mathematics, astronomy and physical sciences. He was often found in the company of learned men. Some modern historians are of the opinion that he was mad or perhaps a wise fool. Others think of him as an idealist or a failed visionary. Let us find out why. Thugluck is known for his ideas. As a diligent ruler, he conceived brilliant projects, but they failed due to poor execution. One such project was to strengthen the army by using additional revenue. Muhammad bin Tughlaq increased the land tax in the fertile region of Ganga Yamuna Doab. During this time, there was a shortage of rainfall. A famine broke out and people refused to pay the increased taxes. However, tax collectors forced them to pay up and this ruined the peasants. They abandoned their lands and ran to the jungles. Even after Tughlaq ordered relief plans, agriculture suffered a severe setback. After this, Tughlaq transferred the capital of his kingdom from Delhi to Devagiri and renamed it as Dolatabad. He wanted to expand the Delhi Sultanate up to the Deccan. Devagiri made an ideal capital as it was centrally located. Mongol invasions in Delhi put the region in danger. Devagiri was a comfortable distance from the invaders. However, instead of just shifting his court and officials, Tughlaq ordered the transfer of the entire population. The distance of 1,250 kilometers between Delhi to Dolatabad was not easy to undertake for all, although a new road had been constructed with trees on both sides. Travellers could also rest in temporary huts and enjoy free food and drinks. But the long journey led to the death of many people. Those who survived found it difficult to adjust to the new conditions. With the ruler gone, Delhi was also exposed to Mongol attacks. Within two years, Tughlaq realized his mistake and shifted the capital back to Delhi. People resented the order to relocate again. The incident also drained the treasury and impacted Delhi's former glory. As his projects drained the treasury, Tughlaq decided to experiment with token currency in 1329-1330 CE. People were ordered to use copper coins that were assigned the same value as gold and silver coins. Tughlaq, however, did not make minting of coins the monopoly of the government so a lot of counterfeit coins were produced. No one was assigned to control the spread of counterfeit coin. Foreign merchants did not accept the new copper currency and trade came to a standstill. The subjects paid their taxes using counterfeit coins and the economy suffered a collapse. Tughlaq was forced to withdraw the currency. Tughlaq wanted to expand his territories by conquering Persia, Iran and Iraq. However, he later shelved the plan and thus caused heavy financial damage. Modern historians believe that Tughlaq lacked practical sense and was whimsical and unpredictable. This led to the failure of his schemes and revolts in his empire. Some historians have concluded that Muhammad bin Tughlaq was not personally responsible for his failure. His projects failed because of the conditions and prejudices of those times. People were backward and not receptive to new ideas and radical reforms. After his death in 1351 CE, Tughlaq's kingdom was still suffering from decay and disintegration. However, he can be considered as a visionary who conceived brilliant projects that were ahead of his times.